Kansas fans are looking for number one, that first win in 2016, the first win for the program in a couple years. Who will be the quarterback to get them there? Mark Rogers TV running down positional units across the Big 12. We stop in Lawrence with David Potter from Rock Chalk Talk on the SB Nation platform to help us out on the quarterback battle. David, it's always a pleasure. Thanks for uh, jumping back on with us. It's been a while. Uh, Ryan Willis uh, got um, significant playing time as a freshman. Uh, Montel Cozart uh, coming into a senior season. How do you size those two guys up as they appear to be the, the final two standing here? Well, Ryan Willis showed flashes of, of real talent, especially just for a true freshman uh, forced into a rough spot last year. Um, you know, he did make some freshman mistakes, threw a few too many interceptions, but we saw, you know, a big arm, uh, some pretty good decision making for someone that young. Um, and while he's not a runner, uh, a pretty good knowledge of when and how to use his feet to, to make a play here and there. So I think most people kind of assumed that he would be the starter going into this year. Uh, then he broke his wrist in the offseason playing pickup basketball and uh, missed really all of spring football, which gave Montel Cozart uh, another chance to uh, sort of establish himself. And as of right now, David Beatty is referring to it as a, a, a quarterback battle between the two. He's not uh, naming anyone the starter just yet. Um, Cozart will be, a, will be a junior this year. He's been granted an extra year of eligibility. Uh, but we've we've seen him get a few chances to show what he can do as the starter, and he's never really been able to show the consistency that you'd like to see. Um, Willis is probably the fan favorite at this point, but it does seem like Beatty likes Cozart's athletic ability um, and and his playmaking ability when it's there. Uh, so at least enough to to make it a competitive race between the two. So you mentioned Cozart. Uh, you do see the three seasons that he's gotten onto the field, but as you mentioned, because of the medical situation and the injury, he gets the uh, the extra year as uh, in, in the program. Started the first four games, completed 63% of his passes, two touchdowns, one pick. A Willis, uh, most notably, as you would be able to uh, explain better than I, uh, the effort against Texas Tech, uh, uh, one of the better efforts for the Jayhawks last season, a pretty close 30 to 20 loss. They were in it in the fourth quarter, 35 of 50, uh, 330 yards with a couple touchdown passes against the Red Raiders. So uh, what do Jayhawk fans like when they watch uh, Willis on the field? He definitely has the strongest arm of any quarterback on the team. He can make those downfield throws that Cozart has struggled with. Uh, it, it's been a while since we've seen a KU quarterback who's had that kind of arm strength and, and really the accuracy um, on the year, his completion rate numbers weren't quite there, but uh, he had a lot of true freshmen playing at wide receiver along with them, and there were a lot of drop passes. Uh, his numbers really could have been, probably should have been better than they were. But you mentioned, you know, those games like the Texas Tech game, he really showed off good decision making, uh, the ability to make a quick decision, which is important in the the air raid style offense they're running, and an ability to hit receivers downfield. Um, whereas with Cozart, the the ability is more in his athleticism and ability to 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 make plays on the move. Yeah, fifty two percent. You would expect that to get better as uh, Willis gets more accurate uh, and the fundamentals get better. The decision making, but also, yeah, we will talk about it in a future segment about the wide receivers. Very young, but still get plenty of valuable playing time last year. Also of note, uh, DeAndre Ford, who's going to be a senior, eleven of twenty three last year, uh, with some playing time against Rutgers in Memphis, probably. Uh, hits that number three spot. And also Tyreek Starks, an interesting prospect uh, for future um, uh, playing time, possibly in 2017 going forward, the 25th back, according to ESPN, out of New Orleans. So a pretty, pretty good uh, haul for Kansas at quarterback when you talk about the future with Willis and possibly Starks in the mix. David Potter from Rock Chalk Talk helping us out to break down the Kansas quarterback position. David, we appreciate it. Sure. Thank you.